Hi, we're the Whitaker Brothers, and today we're down here at Roll Kill Grill in Las Vegas. And we have been invited to come down and view the kitchen, taste the food, and a one-on-one -on -one interview with John Mills right here on Soul TV Fun Recipe. Let's go. This would be a great place to take your family if you're out here in Vegas or if you're visiting in Vegas. Um, again, they have warmers right here. All right, so we got some volunteers that's gonna let me ask them some questions. I appreciate it. What's your name? My name is Patricia. How are you doing, Patricia? I'm Paul Harrison. How are you doing, Paul Harrison? And we're both the Whitaker brothers. Uh, the Whitaker brothers? Yeah. Nice you know, to meet you. Nice to meet you. Um, is this your first time coming here? It's the first time being at this restaurant, yes. Oh, okay. How was, how was your um, meal and what did you order? Well, we ordered burnt ends, uh, a pot, pot link, a brisket, and... You bought rabbit? Oh, no, no, I didn't buy any rabbit. Oh. I bought uh, goat. So okay. I'm going to cook when I get home. Oh, oh okay. Wow. <laughs> Well, there you have it, and I think I'm going to order the same thing. I, I really like the way you order some tri tips and some. Uh, what else you got? Some burnt ends. Some uh, burnt ends. Uh, you going to write that down. <laughs> and I appreciate you, you taking the time to talk to us. And we'll let you get back to your meal. It's nice meeting both of you. Okay, nice meeting you too. And now, we've got people from Arizona coming out here to try John Mills Road Kill. What's your name? Tom. Raza. And I heard that you guys out here for a, a tournament. Yeah, I'm right. for a pool tournament. Pool tournament. That was exciting, man. I hope you guys have a good time. Well, thank so you. Nice thank you guys. You guys have you. fun in Vegas. Thank you. And what happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. Right? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Have a good All day, right. guys. Thank you. Oh, yeah. You know what I do? Go ahead, go ahead. That's why I'm here. All right, so welcome to John Moe's Roadkill Grill. Um, right here we have our hot food line. We also have a cold meat line. Cold meat's going to be anything catering, anything you'd like to order as far as a steak, anything on that line that can be cut from Mr. John Chuck Palmer itself. Uh, we've been here since 1946. We've been serving food since 1988 uh, in some shape and capacity. Uh, but this is, this is the famous Roadkill Grill. Let me tell you, hardworking, motivated, nice person, and friendly, John Mules. I just hate him to say that. <laughs> I don't know, yeah, I'll tell you. We'll have to give you a hand. You are, though. We'll You're a very we'll nice person. Yeah. We'll have to give you some promotional stuff. Right? <laughs> All right. <laughs> I'll let you taste it, man. This time, now you just freshly slice this right off the grill. Right out of the smoker, baby. I taste all that flavor. <laughs> and, it, and the smell is uh, so good. All right. Thank you, John. Thank you. Mm. So this brisket that you just ate, that's you know, actually injecting that right now. And that marinade is uh, it's like uh, basically salt, sugar, garlic. Okay. Onion. Okay. We inject it, let it sit for a couple of days, and after two days, then we'll put it in the smokehouse. And then it okay. smokes for about 14 hours, and after we take it out of the smokehouse, we let it rest, just sort of okay. get right. But that's where it all starts at, right there. So these are all these are all inside round. Okay. And what we'll do is we'll put them through this big tenderizer. Okay. Once they've been tenderized, then we'll slice them, uh, marinate them, okay. and then we'll put those in the smokehouse. Same thing. So we do a lot of different things other than just, just the barbecue, you know, we, we make lots of different products. Yeah. We've, got, we've got a lot of different processes because everything is different. Let's see wow. if we pick some up. Uh, yeah, there you go. Yeah, you do a hockey thing. Yeah. Yeah, I always wanted to pretend like I'm going to hit the over here. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Alright. Wow. Here's another cut. 
Wow. So basically, this is where everything starts around here. I mean, all the meat comes in. As soon as the meat comes in, we break it down. We either grind it for hot links, uh, different types of sausages, ground meat. Nice. Uh, what she's doing right now, she's actually using a smaller tumbler. Okay. And we're going to actually tumble those tri-tips. Okay. When I say tumble them, we're going to put them in a little vacuum tumbler. Uh -huh. We're going to put marinade in with them. And then once we've done that, we're going to pull it back. In other words, suck everything in with all the seasoning, all the marinade that's going to go into the meat. And then we'll let it roll on a little tumbler for about two hours. And after uh -huh. two hours, it'll create a, a protein bind. In other words, that seasoning will adhere to the meat. Okay. It won't come off when you cook it. So it'll stay within the meat. That's the whole idea behind using that little vacuum. Yeah. And you said about 300 pounds of pork a day. Yeah, it's crazy. That's what I'm going to start out into that And last but not least is hot links. The world famous hot links. Hot links, man. yes. The world famous oh, yes. hot links. World famous, yeah. baby. Right here, right on time. Ladies and gentlemen, my favorite. And we make up. about we make about <laughs> 600 pounds of those a day, on a normal day. Around the holidays, we'll make about 1,200 pounds a day. Nice. It, it really varies as far as what time of year and basically what holiday it is. So I hope we got that 600 pounds of meat a day. A day. Wow, that's just inconceivable, but it's very tasteful. <laughs> yeah, those, those do have good taste. Yes, they do. <laughs> Tasty, but not too wasted. <laughs> All right, let's take it. Wow, you didn't, even know it. you didn't even know it's that many rooms in here. Yeah, this place can add on to the house. I was like, wow. You put that on camera, Bobby. Right here is the shell still skillet. pretty crazy, man. I was just thinking about it. We actually make about, about 180 pounds of beans a day. Wow. I never thought about that before. That's crazy. 185 pounds of beans a day. A day. That is I never even thought about that until just yeah. now. Like I said, inconceivable. That's the first time I thought about that. So we've got we've got rotating grill. Oh, 24 hours a day. Get, get, get in there, boss. Thank you. So that's actually uh, wow. Look at that. Those are actually burning. Oh, that right is nice. That is nice. Power and line out there too. That's the whole idea. Here. <laughs> wow. That's what, that's what we shoot for. Okay. And over there, we got, we got some um the pork and some um. Got some chicken. chicken. All the white. We got pork ribs. Oh, you got. Ribs. Some, ah, look at that. Get close up on that, Bobby. I'm doing this so much. This, 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 this grill right here is just, just all charcoal. So basically, oh, okay. we put wow. different things on different, you know, uh -huh. I mean, we're looking for different textures, we're looking for different flavors. Uh -huh. So if we put everything on the same smoker, then we have just heavy smoke, heavy smoke, heavy smoke. And, um, and like this one over here, let's see what we got on Okay. Like I said, this one's a pellet pellet grill. Wow! So we'll man. just cook we'll cook rib tips over here because it, this is where different flavor. So you know? we got it's like a, the rib like tips are being cooked on a pellet grill. So that's where all that unique flavor comes from, and all these other signature good barbecue. We're here at the Roadkill Grill in Las Vegas, and. Uh, we appreciate John for giving us a tour and bringing you guys along. Wait till you see this guy. Live out here. Oh, what? Thank you. I can't wait to open it. We got a surprise for you. Let's see what we got. Surprise. I was like, whoa. What a surprise. You know, they, they say to open stuff when you get home, but I'm so glad I opened it here. Oh my God, look at this. 
I'm not wearing gloves. Oh my god. Have you ever seen something? <laughs> this is half the cow. Oh, this is. Sorry, this is going home to the family. And so, I, we will try a, a piece. Wait, hey, Bobby, let's get our fork out. Let's just try it. Oh, it's so tender. <laughs> no. Oh. Mm. And onions on top. Hi, Mom. I'm coming home. And, um, and we're going to eat good today. Hey, and I believe there's another YouTuber here. Okay. We're, we're going to eat this at home, but we just wanted to show everybody how much food we got. And, um, oh my gosh, it smells so good. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Look at that. I don't know about you. We got macaroni grease. We got. All right. So now we have our cherry, apple, and peach cobbler. And we're going to have our taste testers try it out for us. So let's go. Hi. So this one is peach, apple, and cherry. And let us know how you like it. Thanks, girls. All right, good job. Yeah. All right, you guys. I'll catch you on the other side.